Baykar's TB2 Bayraktar drone has gotten a lot of attention in Ukraine's fight against Russia. You may have seen video online of it blowing up Russian tanks and anti-aircraft assets, among other targets. Right now, I'm joined by Typhoon Ozberg, who covers Baykar, the Turkish drone maker. Typhoon, welcome to Defense News Weekly. Hello, Daniel. Uh, thank you for your kind invitation. It's a privilege for me. Thank you. Baykar's TB2 Bayraktar has been getting a lot of attention in Ukraine, where it is said through open source intelligence and, and even reports from classified sources that it has taken out several Russian targets that, that is, you know, anti-aircraft weapons and, and even tanks. Not a lot of people had heard about the TB2 before this, but certainly you have. Tell us a little bit about this aircraft and why, why it's seeing the success as it is on the battlefield. Yes, uh, the performance of the drone was a matter of curiosity before this war uh, between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, TB2 is a combat-proven drone. This is the most important feature of any weapon system. Uh, was tested roughly four times in real conflicts uh, in Syria, Libya, and uh, most recently Karabakh. And this is the fourth real battle environment for TB2. The, another important aspect of TB2 is it's very cost-efficient drone. For example, uh, you can buy roughly 20 or 25 TB2 drones uh, with the price of just one Reaper drone. Another important feature is modularity, I can say. Um, even if a, an airport would be destroyed where you want to take off uh, the TB2 drones, you can make it ready to fly from somewhere else, for example, from a highway, in just 15 or 20 minutes. I should also mention the artificial intelligence uh, features of TB2. Uh, AI affects performance. Uh, AI affects the performance of the drone very positively. Uh, it's powered with deep learning, deep learning algorithms, and this enhances drone's capabilities in every mission it attended. TB2 is also resistant to electronic warfare attacks, and it has anti-jamming and anti-spoofing capabilities, and capable to fly in a GPS-free environment for a while. Even if it uh, loses uh, the signal of GPS, it can continue its mission uh, for a while. And you mentioned the Reaper drone. I've seen the TB2 uh, on a runway you know, in pictures. It seems a lot smaller than I would have expected it. Yes, yes, very small. And what about the armaments? Are all of them armed or are some of them used for reconnaissance? And the ones that are armed, what, what kind of armaments do they usually have? Yes, we also should mention the smart munition it carries. The MEM family min smart munitions manufactured by the Turkey Rotetsan company helps TV2 to, to hit the target with pinpoint accuracy. It hit even moving targets uh, with uh, fast speed many times. There are so many videos on the internet uh, of the uh, vehicles or main battle tanks uh, TV2 destroyed. It has options to engage targets from 15 to uh, 30 kilometers range with different uh, versions of MEM munitions. I understand there's a TB3 on the way. Can you tell me a little bit about what's on the horizon with Baker? Yes, uh, Baker is currently working on an enhanced uh, version of TB2. Uh, it's, its name is TB3. It's a shipborne version of TB2. Uh, it has a wider wingspan and a stronger engine uh, to help the drone fly from naval assets. Uh, TB3 will be operated on Turkey's prospective landing helicopter dock named TCG Anadolu. And TB3 uh, is also have, will have folding wings uh, to be uh, housed in the hangars of the ship. Uh, it will be more portable. According to the latest reports from the, the Turkish government and the Baikar company, they are planning to make it, it, the maiden flight within uh, this year. And its integration to TCG Anadolu will be complete by the end of uh, 2022. I also understand that Baikar is also working on an unmanned jet fighter. Tell us about that. 
Yes, uh, Baikar recently uh, released the photos of their unmanned fighter uh, on the production line. Its name is Muse. Uh, it's the uh, prestige project of the of Baikar. The company officials says that it's their dream project, and they began the conceptual work of the project in uh, 2013. It will it will have air-to-air -air, uh, fighting capability and will fly uh, at the speed of uh, 0.8 max speed. And it will have an operational radius about uh, 500 uh, nautical miles. And it have a payload of uh, 1,500 kilograms. Well, Typhoon, thank you very much. There's a lot of news coming out of the Turkish defense industry, and our correspondents cover it every step of the way. You can follow it all on defensenews.com.